What's good everyone? It's the one and only NY Phenom. If you guys enjoy NFL NBA content and want to see some gaming content in the near future, give this video a like and if you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you at it. Now let's go ahead and let's get into this video. Alright, so um before I get into this video and we're gonna speak on this situation about Anthony Davis and my New York Knicks. Um, before we get into this video though, I do wanna say go ahead and check out my game five reaction that I just dropped. Um yeah, go and check out my NBA Finals Game 5 reaction. Alright, but let's go and let's get into this video, man. Now, I did, I, my plan was to record this video about Anthony Davis because the news did drop yesterday. And I was recording, um, I was recording this for y'all, but um, uh, something happened with my audio and just got messed up. So, you guys are getting the video right now. So, let's just go ahead and let's get into this, man. Um, the Anthony Davis news dropped, man, and the two teams that Anthony Davis wants to play for is the Los Angeles Lakers and the New York Knicks. Um, he wants to play with those two teams, man. I try to tell you guys, man, he wanted to play in New York, and if he didn't want to play in New York, he'll be playing with the, in, in the Staples Center for the Lakers. Only two teams, man. That's why it makes no sense for teams like the Celtics to trade for Kyrie. I mean, I mean, not trade for Kyrie, trade for Anthony Davis. See, the thing is, because I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to start off with the Celtics. Yo, Celtics fans, bro, you, you guys don't have a chance for Anthony Davis. We already heard about the news about Kyrie most likely heading to Brooklyn. I mean, Brooklyn, with the trade that they just made a few days ago, uh, just opened another max, uh, um, max slot. And I believe their entire... Um, intention was to get Kyrie and KD. Now with the injury that happened to KD, I wonder how that's going to affect uh, free agency. I mean, that just hopefully, man. Hopefully, the injury is not so bad, man, with KD. But I mean, it seems like all reports is that Warriors believe that it's a torn Achilles, but it's not. Um, it's not fully. It's not fully done. You know, it's uh, not fully. Uh, Fully announced that it's a torn Achilles could have been a partial tear, but you know, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it's not so bad. But it didn't look good, and that probably messed up free agency a lot. But um, yeah, man. Um, I mean, the Celtics they really have no. What you finna do, man? Because we all know that Kyrie. In my opinion, Kyrie's not resigning with the Celtics, man. I think he's heading to Brooklyn. I think he's heading to Brooklyn. I mean, every every report just seems that he's heading to Brooklyn. I knew New York Knicks fans, my fellow New York Knicks fans, don't want to hear that, but I think he's heading to Brooklyn. And but I know I know he's not heading back to uh, Boston, for sure. He's not heading back to Boston. So you guys are just gonna trade Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Horford for Anthony Davis. Who's like who 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 y'all gonna leave with Anthony Davis? Y'all gonna have Gordon Hayward? Marcus Smart, I mean, you guys gonna have no talent, so it just makes no sense for y'all to trade for someone like Anthony Davis and not have Kyrie on your team, so. That just eliminates you guys. Team like the Brooklyn Nets, you guys can affect free agency like I already said, but after that, you guys really don't have any trade value after after those two free agency max slots, you, uh, max players y'all can get this upcoming free agency. Um, yeah, man, because, I mean, the only player that probably has real trade value on your team um, for the upcoming season will probably be Karis LeVert. But, I mean, the Knicks, we have more to offer than Karis LeVert, man. You guys are not really in the Anthony Davis sweepstakes, man. And plus, he don't want to play with you guys. Uh, teams like the Clippers, they really don't have any trade value. The, like, those teams like the Brooklyn Nets, the LA Clippers... They can affect free agency. They got two max slots for free agency players, but they don't have that much trade value after that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you guys can get that, but who knows? But like I said, man, the two teams, man, that that you know are really in the Anthony Davis sweepstakes are the Lakers and the Knicks. And let me explain myself with the Knicks. No, matter of fact, let's speak on the Lakers real quick. Now, the Lakers. We already know that they're real interested in Anthony Davis. Of course, when Magic Johnson was there, 
Uh, he was pretty much trying to trade everybody that wasn't named LeBron for Anthony Davis, which rightfully so, man. Anthony Davis is our top talent in the league. But, I mean, their trade value, they got players with trade value. But the, in my opinion, the player that had the most trade value on that team besides LeBron, of course, was Brandon Ingram. And we already know what Brandon Ingram was dealing with with that blood kind of shoulder. Now, thankfully, thankfully and prayerfully that he's doing well now, you know. Uh, shout out to Brandon Ingram. I, I, I really believe that he's uh, recovering right now from that blood clot. They said that it wasn't that major. Yeah, so that's what's up. But, um, you know, that's great because you never want to see injury on anyone. But, um, you know, his trade value probably still diminished a bit. You got Alonzo Ball, who the who the Pelicans uh, did the Pelicans even like him? I don't know, but I mean, Alonzo Ball has some has some potential, but the Pelicans already you know they already declined the offer with Alonzo Ball. Kyle Kuzma, they already see the thing is they already offer these players. They already offered Alonzo Ball, uh, Brandon Ingram, or Kyle Kuzma and uh, um, Josh Hart. I mean, yeah, that was a different Pelicans GM, but I mean, that, that's trade value, but I don't think that adds up with the Knicks. I think we have more to offer. Um, I mean, yeah, you got Kyle Kuzma, Brennan Ingram, but like I said, Brennan Ingram, trade value diminished with that blood caught engine. And uh, I mean, Kyle Kuzma is pretty good, but See, this is my thing with Kyle Kuzma. With him coming into the league already at the age of 21 or 22, I believe he is, 21 years old or 22. Anyway, he came in the league very a little bit older than usual because he stayed, he stayed in college for all four years. So we are already seeing some of the peak of Kyle Kuzma right now. Like his potential, like his potential peak is not as high as a lot of people probably think it is. I mean, with Kyle Kuzma already getting close to his mid twenties, um, I mean, we're already seeing what Kyle Kuzma is. A really solid player, a really solid player, but you know, he he's just going to be a really solid player in my opinion. Not that all-star superstar potential that some people might think. I think the only player in my opinion that has all-star superstar potential in that team is Brandon Ingram, but I'm not sure the Pelicans want to bite on that after what happened. You know what I'm saying? And I guess you could say Lonzo Ball, but Lonzo Ball has a lot of development um, to be done. And in my opinion, if you the Lakers, man, you, you trying to keep Lonzo Ball and let him develop with your assistant coach, Jason Kidd. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all we have to speak on with the Lakers. Now let's speak on my Knicks, man. And let me speak why I think Anthony Davis will be in the Garden next year. Let me speak on it, man. Let me speak on it. Um, now, first of all, AD already said he wants to play in the Garden. He already wants to play there. Second thing is, we had the most trade value. From every single team, we had the most to offer. Let me speak on it. RJ Barrett. Right, who we all think is going to be the number three pick. But let me speak on RJ Barrett because there were news earlier yesterday, early yesterday morning, talking about RJ Barrett wants to be a Nick. And let me speak on it, man. I think for the because there was a lot of people that in my previous Knicks video singing that um they didn't want to trade for Anthony Davis because they like RJ Barrett. Guess what? I like RJ Barrett too, man. Personally, I think he's better than John Morant. No shit, John Morant. John Morant is nice, but I think RJ Barrett has has that potential to be an All Star, maybe a superstar, a top ten player. But guess what, man? I don't see Anthony Davis in him. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Davis can possibly be a top five, top three. Well, he, in my opinion, already a top five player when fully healthy. And you know, he has potential to be the best player in the NBA. Like, let's keep it a buck. You know, somebody that can. Who's a top five defender in the NBA, can defend the rim, can defend the low post, can defend the perimeter. He can do all three of those things. Super athletic. Six, uh, he can, on the offensive side, he can post you up. He can take you off the dribble, shoot that midi, shoot that three-pointer. Uh, can uh, finish, or finish around you, finish on top of you, finish through you. I mean, there's nothing that Anthony Davis can't do. Guess what? And also, in the playoffs... 
in the playoffs. He performs well in the playoffs. Let's go all the way back in 2015 where um, they, of course, got swept by the Warriors in 2015 when he was with the Pelicans. And um, they got swept, but Anthony Davis played really well in that playoff series. Showed up and he showed why he was going to be a top player in the NBA. Now, um, are you guys already know what he did against the Portland Trailblazers last year. You know what I'm saying? Um, do I really have to speak on it? I mean, Anthony Davis pretty much took, took control of that whole entire series. Looked like the best player in the NBA in that series. So let's keep it a buck. Um, dominated pretty much every single way you can dominate on the floor. And then in the next series, I know they lost to five against the Warriors, but look at it like this. He, Anthony Davis was able to do something that LeBron James wasn't able to do. And that was, um, he was able to get a win out of the Warriors. And we look at the team that the Cavs had and the Pelicans. Now the Pelicans had a good squad, but if you match it up with the Cavs squad, in my opinion, it's pretty even. It's pretty even. Not, that's not no shade to LeBron James. LeBron James, we already know that he's been the face of the NBA for pretty much the past decade. But, no, you know, just, just look at it like that. But back to my point with R.J. Bear, because I kind of just got off on a tangent real quick, because so many people I felt were kind of disrespecting Anthony Davis a bit. So I had, to, I had to tell them how good Anthony Davis really was and really is. But, um, you know, um, R.J. Bear, like I said, I would love to ha have him a, as a Nick, but for the to get Anthony Davis, man, I would ship him. In my opinion, R.J. Bear can possibly be the best player in the draft. And that's nothing. That's not me doubting Zion Williamson because I think Zion Williamson was uh, uh, amazing. Like there was a a reason why I would. He was pretty much my plan B. If we couldn't get Anthony Davis, I would like to have Zion Williamson. You know, but. R.J. Barrett, you know, in my opinion, he can do pretty much every... I think he has potential to be pretty much like a uh, a taller... Oh, not taller, but like, you know, he's physical. He's big. He can handle that ball. He has a potential to be a great defender. And I mean, I think I think R.J. Barrett can be a top player in this draft, man. So it's like no shade that I'm saying to R.J. Barrett that I don't want him on the Knicks, but I mean... Anthony Davis is a once-in-a-generation player, and I don't think we can uh, pass that up. So, I mean, would I like to have R.J. Barry on the squad? Would I like to draft him? Yeah, if we weren't able to get Anthony Davis, but for Anthony Davis, man, I'm, I'm going to want Anthony Davis. Now, I just got a big tangent for, like, the past five minutes. I think we're already at, like, a 12-minute point. I need to go ahead and wrap this video up. So, let me speak why we had the most trade value, because I don't even think I discussed that. The reason why he has the most trade value, of course, is that third overall pick. We can actually, dude, the, how can the Pelicans pass up on a chance to pair Zion Williamson up with their former team, with his former teammate in college when he, um, last year at Duke with R.J. Barrett? Can they really pass up a Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett pairing for the next 10 years? Can they really pass that up? Plus, we have Frank Nilakina, who, who, I mean, some people think he's been a draft bust. Well, this this dude has potential to be a top 10 perimeter defender in this league. You know what I'm saying? So we got some we got some young talent right there. We have um, Kevin Knox, which I would love to keep Kevin Knox to be honest with you. But like I said, for all these players, man, I would like to keep them. But we, but we had to give him up for Anthony Davis, man. We got to move him. You know, that's just how it is. And I think Kevin Knox has all-star potential also. I like the way he can score, score the ball. But, you know, for Anthony Davis, man, you know, we got to move him out of here. We, we can give up him. We got uh, um, Mitchell Robinson, who I, I, I would kind of want to keep. Like, the two players I really, really want to keep out this um keep out the um out the anthony davis trade that's already on our team is mitchell robinson money mitch and dennis smith jr money mitch and dennis smith jr we can find a way to keep those two players while getting anthony davis 
on our team, I think we'll be, I think we'll be put in a great position, man. That would look really good. That would really look really good, man. Like that's just, that would be my personal like. If, if we can find a way how to keep them out the Anthony Davis trade while getting Anthony Davis, I think that would be perfect. And that would be perfect. So if we could find a way to trade our, our that third, that third overall pick who we all think is gonna be RJ Barrett. Kevin Knox and Frank Nakina for Anthony Davis. I would do that in a heartbeat. So yeah, that's pretty much all I really want to speak on with this. This video is probably went everywhere. I promise the video that I originally recorded of this was a lot better. But you know, that's just what happens sometimes, man. You gotta make sure that everything's alright, man. That's just a life lesson. And um, there was reports also today talking about the Knicks are hesitant to trade for AD because it's similar to the Carmelo Anthony trade. Look, man, you can't pass up on an Anthony Davis once in a generation player, man. Point blank period, man. Point blank period, man. Um, you know, to gain something, you gotta take a risk, man. And you gotta jump on this risk, man. That's pretty much how I'm gonna speak on that, man. The Knicks better not Better not flinch on this trade and let Anthony Davis head to the Lakers, man. I'm gonna be very sick if that happens. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really want to speak on, man. Um, for my fellow New York Knicks fans, you know, don't share the comment down below. I know you guys probably disagree with me. You know, I never saw from a debate, so go ahead and comment how you guys feel. But that's pretty much all I really want to say about this video. If you guys enjoy NFL NBA content where I'm covering news on the daily, uh, want to see some gaming content in the near future, uh, ready for my team previews once the NBA final, um, NFL team previews once the NBA finals ends, give this video a like. And if you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you get it. I'm the phenomenal one and I'm out. Deuces.